Hey everybody, how are you doing? My name is Happy. Welcome back to Map Making Basics. In this one, I'm going to be showing you how you can make staff only areas and use ranks without any plugins. So what do I mean by all of this then? Well, first of all, take a look at my name up at the top. It says staff. And also, if we go to the staff only door, you'll see it's going to open for us. Now that won't open for anybody else. And if we leave the team, you'll see that I can no longer get through this door. If I just join that team again, as you can see, I can now walk back through here. And when I type something in chat, I also have a little staff rank next to my name. How did I do this? Well, I'm going to be showing you in a new world. And also stick around till the end of the video if you want to see a brand new sneak peek for a brand new studio that I'm working on for the quiz live. It's pretty cool and it's a new concept. So the last time we was here, I showed you how to use armor stands. If you want to see that one, I'll leave it earlier. Is it really raining right? Is that really? Last time I was here, I showed you how to use armor stands. If you want to watch that video, a link will be down below. So we're going to be eventually setting up a staff only area. But first of all, we're just going to go through how to use ranks. Now, if you want to use more specific ranks, you probably need a permissions plugin, somewhere like permissions EX or something. Uh, unfortunately, I won't be showing you how to do this as this is a very simple command block basic tutorial. So how can we get a staff rank next to our name? Well, it's pretty simple all we got to do is use the slash team command so we're going to create a team and we're going to call it staff so team add staff just like so there we go and it says created team staff now if we type hi nothing's happened because we haven't joined the team yet so we're going to do slash team join staff there you go and you can put in an a as well or you can do specific players if you're just doing it for yourself just type in slash team join staff like that and it adds you to the team. So now if we type hi, you can see we're still just a normal player and we don't have any form of rank. So how do we do that? Well, it's actually pretty simple. And the way we're going to do that is again, we're going to use slash team, but this time we're going to type in modify. And once we type in modify, we're going to type in staff because that's what we've called this. We're going to do the prefix. Here we go. Now we're going to be doing the color and the prefix name. So we're going to do some squiggly brackets and we're going to type in some speech marks and we're going to type in the word text and then we're going to go outside the speech marks, do a semicolon like that, or sorry, just a regular colon. And then we're going to do some more speech marks and we're going to type in staff. Now I'm going to put this inside of some square brackets like this and I'm going to put a space just there to separate it from our name. Then we're going to do another set of regular colons and then we're going to type in the word in again, uh, speech marks, we're going to type in color. And then we're going to type in some more colons and then we're going to type in in these brackets red now for some reason it doesn't like that that is because in between staff and color change that to a comma not a semicolon and then you just want to press enter and now it says set the prefix to staff and if i start typing something there you go we see staff and we see this now that we've got this, we can actually do some magical things. And hey, it said welcome back. If you want to know how to do that, go back to the playlist and look for this, which is a welcome back system. It might actually be this one. I can't remember. So how can we use this to our advantage to get through doors? Well, it's actually pretty simple. And if you want to learn more about the team command, there's a few more things you can do. You can add it. You can empty a team. You can join a team, leave a team, list teams, modify teams and remove. Modify has things like collision rules. So if you want to be able to bump into players or not, color, that's the color of your player name, not the prefix. Custom, uh, sorry, death message visibility. So if you want to see if people die, friendly fire so if you want to be able to attack people on your team name tag visibility that's the same as display name so hang on sorry just display name is the display name of the team you don't really don't need to worry about that name tag visibility is your name tag prefix is what we just did see friendly invisibles so if your friendly team is invisible then you can see them and suffix is after your name so you don't need to worry about that one that's all you need to know about the command let's get back to the door so here we go we're going to do a double under method except we're just going to use two command blocks and these are going to be repeating command blocks so you're going to want to do to get those by the way type in slash give your name com and press tab on your keyboard you'll get one of these command blocks open it up and go to always active unconditional repeat like that and you should have a command block that looks like this or you can use saved toolbars which i mentioned in a previous video now all you need to do is you need to do the following thing go to here and type in execute if the entity at a has a team of staff and is a distance of dot dot three blocks we're going to then run set block and we're going to grab our coordinates so the coordinates is here set block redstone block and we're going to just take that command we're going to put it into the command block and we're going to see if that works so there we go just do this get rid of that 
and that should that should work. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do another command and we're going to put it into here. Now, because we're going one block down, we're going to have to increase this number and we're going to change this to execute unless. This is basically if you're not within this distance. So we're going to go instead of set block, we're going to set it to our original block. In my case, that is sandstone. So sandstone, uh, that would be just like that. Press OK. And then if I get too far away, the door opens and closes. Now, if you want to be a bit more professional than that, then you can probably do something where you've got your door up here and then you've got maybe a redstone torch that gets placed in and out like that, which is completely possible. So instead of having all of this, so you can actually see this, you can do, okay, so player is say here. Okay, let's place a redstone torch here. Okay, the player is here. Let's remove the redstone torch. This is just the basics though. If you see that this is too big of a distance, what you can do then is just dig down and you can change your distance. So for example, we can go to about 2.5. It's just about playing around with your distances, trying to get something that works. I've always found that about 1.7 works and then that should not open from here, but when you go to here, it won't open. All about give and take, getting your numbers right. If you get your numbers right, it will work. If you don't, it won't. But just mess around with it, see what numbers you can come up with that work for what you need. Obviously, the thicker the walls you have, you won't need to worry. Uh, if you have one block wide walls, you will probably need to worry. But that's the basics on how you can use the team command and one implementation you can use it with. Now, I promised that I was going to show you a bit of a sneak peek of one of the new studios that was coming to the quiz live. Uh, so let's have a look at that. So yeah, this is going to be the brand new round of the quiz live. Now, everything you see here is completely not done yet. None of this is ready. But ladies and gentlemen, this is the brand new quiz live round. I call it the question cubes. Why? Because it's cubes where you answer questions. And he hello, I'm here. So yeah, how does this one work? Okay, so there's three cubes. There are three contestants, and this is going to be one of the new game rounds. The basic idea is you can already see we've got our buttons, and what's going to happen is unlike 20 question trivia, this round is going to be a play or pass round. I'm going to say, okay, this is question one. Buzz in if you think you would like to answer this question. Whoever buzzes in first gets a blue circle around their place, and that's how you know who buzzes in first. Then, I will say, okay, would you like to play or would you like to pass? If you would like to play, the following happens. You get shown on camera nice and big and then you have to answer the question. However, what about if you don't want to answer the question? So here we go. This is question two. Okay, I'd like to answer. I was first. I, I was fastest. whoop de doo Okay, but uh, and then I'm going to read the questions. Oh, oh, I don't I don't know that. I'm going to pass it to Steve. So now Steve has to answer. If Steve gets the question wrong, I get it right. If I pass and the other person gets it wrong, then I get the point. However, if they get it right, they get the point. So that's how it works. However, if I choose to play and then I get the question right, I get it right. So yeah, pretty much it's a case of if you don't know the question, but you still want a point and you think somebody else might not know it, you've got to be strategic with who you pass. I mean, for all I know, you know, Steve might know when Minecraft came out, but Alex, I don't think Alex is going to know when Minecraft came out. So yeah, that's pretty much the round. It's pretty interesting. It's called Question Cubes. And yeah, lots of opportunities to get points. 10 questions. That's it. It's not 20 because it's going to be shorter than the 20 question trivia round. So 10 questions. You have to buzz in fastest and then you can pick the play or pass. Once you choose play or pass, that's it. Decisions final. You can't go switching. However, this does look pretty fancy, just, you know, seeing me and Steve. I could do this all day. But yeah, folks, let me know what you think to the round. Let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, that's going to do it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something new. Man has been happy. You can't see me, but I'm down. Hi, I'm coming. Hello. Hi. Man has been happy, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.